Yovalim Jubilees 31. And on the new moon of the month, Yaakov spoke to all the people of his house, saying, Purify yourselves and change your garments, and let us arise and go up to Beatel, where I vowed a vow to him on the day when I fled from the face of Esau, my brother, because he has been with me and brought me into this land in peace. And put ye away the strange Elohim that are among you. And they gave up the strange Elohim and that which was in their ears and which was on their necks and the idols which Rachel stole from Levan, her father, she gave wholly to Yaakov, and he burnt and broke them to pieces and destroyed them and hid them under an oak which is in the land of Shechem. And he went up on the new moon of the seventh month to Beatel, and he built an altar at the place where he had slept. And he set up a pillar there, and he sent word to his father Yitzhak to come to him to his, to his sacrifice and to his mother Rivka. And Yitzhak said, Let my son Yaakov come, and let me see him before I die. And Yaakov went to his father Yitzhak and to his mother Rivka, to the house of his father Avraham. And he took two of his sons with him, Levi and Yahuda, and he came to his father Yitzhak and to his mother Rivka. And Rivka came forth from the tower to the front of it to kiss Yaakov and embrace him, for her, for her Ruach had revived when she, had, when she heard. Behold, Yaakov, your son has come, and she kissed him. And she saw his two sons, and she recognized them, and said unto him, Are these your sons, my son? And she embraced them, and kissed them, and blessed them, saying, In you shall the seed of Abraham become illustrious, and ye shall prove a blessing on the earth. And Yaakov went into Yitzhak his father to the chamber where he lay, and his two sons were with him. And he took the hand of his father, and stooping down he kissed him. And Yitzhak clung to the neck of Yaakov his son, and wept upon his neck. And the darkness left the eyes of Yitzhak, and he saw the two sons of Yaakov, Levi and Yahuda, and he said, Are these your sons, my son? For they are like you. And he said unto him that were truly his sons. And you have truly seen that they are truly my sons. And they came near to him, and he turned and kissed them and embraced them both together. And the Ruach Nebuah came down into his mouth and he took Levi by his right hand and Yahuda by his left. And he turned to Levi first and began to bless him first and said unto him, May the Elohim of all the very Yahuwah of all the ages bless you and your children throughout all the ages. And may Yahuwah give to you and to your seed greatness and great glory and cause your, you and your seed from among all flesh to approach him to serve in his sanctuary as the angels of the presence and as the holy ones, 
even as they shall the seed of your sons be for glory and greatness and holiness. And may he make them great unto all the ages. And they shall be judges and princes and chiefs of all the seed of the sons of Yaakov. They shall speak the word of Yahuwah in righteousness. And they shall judge all his people, rather, and they shall judge all his judgments in righteousness. And they shall declare my ways to Yaakov and my paths to Yashara'el. The blessing of Yahuwah shall be given in their mouths to bless all the seed of the beloved. Your mother has called your name Levi, and justly has she called your name. You shall be joined to Yahuwah and be the companion of all the sons of Yaakov. Let his table be yours. And do you and your sons eat thereof. And may your table be full unto all generations, and your food fail not unto all the ages. And let all who hate you fall down before you. And let all your adversaries be rooted out and perish. And blessed be he that blesses you. And cursed be every nation that curses you. And to Yahudah he said, May Yahuwah give you strength and power to tread down all that hate you. A prince shall you be, you and one of your sons, over the sons of Yaakov. May your name and the name of your sons go forth and traverse every land and region then shall the other nations fear before your face. And all the nations shall quake, and all the peoples shall quake. In you shall be the help of Yaakov, and in you be found the Yeshua of Yashara'el. And when you sit on the throne of honor of your righteousness, there shall be great peace for all the seed of the sons of the beloved. Blessed be he that blesses you, and all that hate you and afflict you and curse you shall be rooted out and destroyed from the earth and be accursed. And turning, he kissed him again and embraced him and rejoiced greatly, for he had seen the sons of Yaakov his son in very truth. And he went forth from between his feet and fell down and bowed to him. And he blessed them and rested there with Yitshak, his father, that night. And they ate and drank with joy. And he made the two sons of Yaakov sleep, the one on his right hand and the other on his left. And it was counted to him for righteousness. And Yaakov told his father everything during the night. How Yahuwah had shown him great mercy. And how he had prospered him in all his ways. And protected him from all evil. And Yitzhak blessed the Elohim of his father Avraham who had not withdrawn his mercy and his righteousness from the sons of his servant, Yitshak. And in the morning, Yaakov told his father, Yitshak, the vow which he had vowed to Yahuwah and the vision which he had seen and that he had built an altar and that everything was ready for the sacrifice to be made before Yahuwah as he had vowed, and that he had come to set him on an ass. And Yitzhak said unto Yaakov his son, 
I'm not able to go with you, for I am old and not able to bear the way. Go, my son, in peace, for I am 165 years this day. I am no longer able to journey. Set your mother on an ass and let her go with you. And I know, my son, that you have come on my account. And may this day be blessed on which you have seen me alive. And I also have seen you, my son. May you prosper and fulfill the vow which you have vowed. And put not off your vow, for you shall be called to account as touching the vow. Now, therefore, make haste to perform it. And may he be pleased who has made all things, to whom you have vowed the vow. And he said to Rivka, Go with Yaakov, your son. And Rivka went with Yaakov, her son, and Deborah with her. And they came to Bayatel. And Yaakov remembered the prayer with which his father had blessed him and his two sons, Levi and Yahuda, and he rejoiced and blessed the Elohim of his fathers, Avraham and Yitzhak. And he said, Now I know that I have an eternal hope, and my sons also, before the Elohim of all. And thus it is ordained concerning the two, and they record it as an eternal testimony unto them on the heavenly tablets how Yitzhak blessed them.